<clears throat> My goal was to create the first ever EV self-sustaining truck. It doesn't even say solar. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Our goal was to create the first ever self-sustaining solar powered truck rack. I think one of the main inhibitors of charging is finding charging when you're at work, when you're on the run and just not wanting to wait or not wanting to have to walk from a charger to where you're going. So having a charging station on the back of your truck, I think really opens doors for uh, EVs in the future. Pretty much everyone thought it was a terrible idea. I brought it to the idea to this solar place and they were like, do not put the solar panels on this truck. I talked to my friend that owned a van company and he, he just thought I was not gonna be able to do it. He bet me $500 I wasn't gonna be able to do it. I was in Hawaii having a relaxing vacation and visiting my cousin, Aza Steele. Oh, can't be weak, can't break, gotta guard your heart. Retaliation is the rule in this land of the lost. Cross a line, pay the time, gotta meet the cost. Mama's prince can't see you when the night before my flight back to Boston, he strong armed me into staying. I asked him, Drew, would you like to stay? Let me show you how to weld. Let, let me help you help me build this solar truck rack. There was one problem Aza didn't know how to weld, and neither did I. The only thing we had going for us was our bloodline of steels and a family history of metalworking. So we prayed to our ancestors and they sent us Taylor, who bestowed upon us Carhartt bibs and the knowledge of welding that comes with owning a pair of Carhartt bibs. The building process went surprisingly smoothly. In two weeks, we nearly completed the rack and the solar panels clicked perfectly into place. But we realized that we had no way to connect the solar panels to the rack itself. And we looked at a whole bunch of different hardware online that we could maybe use to clamp, but none of it really looked like it was going to work. We came up with an idea involving all thread, washers, and nuts, welded together, and then welded to the side of the truck to clamp the solar panels to the truck. Did it look pretty? Not at all. But did it work? Incredibly well. So at first we tried to lift the rack onto the truck but it was about 600 pounds. And so we lifted it onto two skateboards and rolled it down the hill of the driveway, the two palm trees, where Aza and Taylor had set up some pulleys about 20 feet up the trees. Attached to a come along that we then attached to the truck rack so we could winch the truck rack up into the tree very slowly. We had about 10 feet of come along total. By the end, because of all the rope stretching, we were down to the last inch and we just barely got the, it underneath the lip of the truck so I could back up underneath, poof, set it down in. That was the first moment I was like, oh my God, this might work. I don't know if it's gonna fall off the truck, but it is on the truck and whoa, I might get $500. <laughs> but the only problem was none of the solar panels were hooked up. Neither of us are electrical engineers and we had no idea what we were doing. ChatGPT and two separate electrical engineers told us that it would be impossible to wire all seven panels in a combination of parallel and series such that all seven panels can contribute their maximum wattage. Instead, they advised us to use six panels and wear gloves to protect ourselves from high voltage. But in the past, the haters had been wrong and so we ditched the gloves and we set to wiring all seven panels. We plugged it all in and through some weird stroke of luck, everything just worked. We finished the rack on a Thursday with plans to take it down the coast that Friday, but in the morning we were greeted by a notification on the truck that an overnight system update had failed, bricking it and making the truck completely undrivable. We took it as a sign to go surfing. The truck got towed and a week later was returned with the update successfully installed. Then we took it first maiden voyage. We got the power on the rack, feeling mighty, two steel hearts, innovation shining brightly, solar dreams cruising clean in a lightning. Look
One might think that a biomedical engineer and self-proclaimed tech bro are not the best people to build a solar truck rack. And they might be right. However, this lack of knowledge allowed us to try things that were unconventional and ended up working. It took us a lot of trial and error, but the coolest thing to me is that this idea that was just in my head now exists in physical reality. Before this rack was built, everyone thought it was a bad idea. Drew himself thought it was kind of a bad idea. But now that it exists in physical reality, people think it's really freaking awesome. The rack is powered by seven panels, each producing 330 watts, totaling over 2,300 watts. The panels on the sides can fold up and down to face the sun. Our temporary solution is to secure the panels with adjustable mop handles and Velcro. However, we plan to use hydraulics in the future. The power is routed to a Goal Zero Yeti 4000 Pro battery and then goes to a hardwired charger, which connects to the Lightning's charging port. We designed the rack so that the legs telescope and the entire rack can be lifted one foot so we can stand comfortably underneath it. However, we have not figured out hydraulics that would make the lifting process more feasible. Huge thanks to Goal Zero and the Yeti 4000 has been incredible. They can accept 3000 watts of solar, which is a lot of solar. So that's why we ended up choosing Goal Zero for this project. I actually reached out. Um, they, some, for some reason, decided to help sponsor this project, which was super cool. Basically, the solar power comes in through the solar panels as DC, but then has to be converted to AC for the at-home charger to then be converted back to DC for the batteries of the F-150 Lightning. That results in a 35% loss of efficiency, which could be avoided if we could figure out how to get the power directly from the panels into the battery of the truck. A version two is uh, currently being thought about. Uh, that would increase the range from about 27 miles per day to 60 miles per day. We would increase the solar capacity from 2.3 kilowatts to 3.9 kilowatts, uh, which is an 80% increase in solar capacity. We would do this by in including an eighth panel, as well as increasing the wattage per panel from 330 watts to 490 watts. Finally, we would improve the aerodynamics, which would increase the range marginally because the current rack has a 15% decrease in range due to aerodynamic losses. I think there are also a few reasons that this truck rack is not for everybody. It's not ideal for people that drive a lot. So with the 15% aerodynamic losses, you are net uh, neutral at 180 miles of driving per day. So if you drive more than 180 miles, the 27 miles that you generate that day will be canceled out by more than 27 miles that you lose due to these aerodynamic inefficiencies. Additionally, this rack was not super cheap. We were very fortunate to have the battery discounted by Goal Zero. The ballpark of the panels and the stainless steel were around $6,000. These could be a lot lower if we were to use mild steel or aluminum as most of the cost was from the stainless steel. I think one thing that I was not expecting is how cool the thing looks. The second thing I love about it, honestly, is the hammock. There is no other way that I could think of hammocking in the back of your truck. And the fact that you're covered is really cool. The third thing, it generates 27 miles a day of range. It makes an off-grid vehicle. That is really freaking cool. Also, I love the surfboard racks. And lastly, the cooler is super fun. I just keep some cool drinks in there. We obviously have a very limited idea of what's actually going on and how any of this works. So part of the point of this video is that some of you out there may have some really good ideas. We want to make this thing even better and better over time. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to stay updated. We hope you enjoyed this video and uh, stay sustainable. As it is coming oh, no, down right now. <laughs> But because of the solar roof rack, <laughs> thank you. What well, is solar truck rack? Welding our dreams with every trace. So the ant center. Oh, sorry. Uh, the ant centers sent us uh, Taylor. What you said, the ant centers. Oh, <laughs> the ant center. <laughs>